Imagine the arid deserts of the Wild West, where the law was often written with lead rather than ink, and the line between hero and villain blurred like the horizon's mirage. In this untamed landscape, one name resonated with both fear and fascination, William Curly Bill Brocious. But who was this enigmatic outlaw beyond the gunsmoke of his notoriety? Today we unholster the true tales, the immortal quotes, and the life story of a man who became a legend in his own right. Curly Bill's life was as winding as the trails he roamed. Born during the mid-19th century, details of his early life are as elusive as a desert phantom. Yet by the 1870s, he emerged as a notorious figure, a reputed leader of the cowboys in the Arizona Territory, an outlaw gang that rustled cattle and clashed with the Earps, a family of lawmen whose names still echo through history. Through the whispers of saloons and the echoes of gunfights, Curly Bill's quotes have traveled time, but what do they tell us about the man behind the myth? I'm your Huckleberry, a phrase popularized in the retellings of the West, often thought to mean, I'm the man you're looking for. These words attributed to Brocius illustrate his readiness to confront what came his way, be it fate or foe. Another quote that encapsulates the essence of the Wild West and often linked to Brocius is, life is like a poker game. It's not what you're dealt, but how you play your hand. This adage speaks volumes about his philosophy. In the lawless territories, a man's destiny was a hand of cards, sometimes bad, sometimes good, yet always in the player's hands to play them wisely or to squander them away. Brocius's life was marked by pivotal moments that shaped the very fabric of Wild West lore. One such incident was the infamous gunfight at OK Corral in Tombstone, Arizona. Though Curly Bill wasn't a participant, the vendetta ride that followed the Earp's shootout with the Cowboys intensified his feud with Wyatt Earp, a conflict that would become as legendary as the men involved. Despite his outlaw status, Curly Bill was known to exhibit a peculiar sense of humor and an odd charm when not in the throes of banditry or brawls. These glimpses of humanity make his character an enduring subject of fascination and debate among historians and enthusiasts of Wild West history. Now, if you're finding this dive into the past as enthralling as a frontier adventure, remember to subscribe to our channel, Quote Almanac, where history comes alive with the stories and quotes of those who made it. But Curly Bill's story, like a desert storm, was intense and could not last forever. His end came in 1882 when he faced Wyatt Earp in what would become one of the West's most fabled confrontations. Earp, seeking retribution for the cowboy's actions, which included the ambush that maimed his brother Virgil and killed his younger brother Morgan, tracked Brocious down, leading to a fatal encounter. Reflecting on such a life, full of sharp turns and shootouts, what lessons can we draw from the story of Curly Bill Brocious? His existence was a testament to the tumultuous era he lived in, where order was being carved out of chaos, often at the point of a gun, to the grand gritty saga of a time that has since passed into the realm of myth. Curly Bill's presence in the annals of the Wild West isn't merely due to his gunfighting or his status as an outlaw. It's also because of the times he lived in, a period of American history where the frontier was a canvas for the brave, the brutal, and the lawless. Each action Brocious took, each quote attributed to him, added color to that canvas, often a shade of red that spoke of blood as much as it did of the fiery sunsets of the Arizona deserts. Digging deeper into the fabric of his life, one can't help but stumble upon tales of his antics. Once after being arrested for shooting up the town of Tombstone, he was said to have been released because no one was willing to testify against him. This incident is reflective of the fear he instigated and the power he wielded. But also, interestingly, it hints at a strange sort of respect he commanded, perhaps out of fear, or perhaps out of an understanding of his role in the harsh reality of frontier life. Brosius was more than an outlaw, he was a symbol of the resistance against the encroaching forces of law and order, representing the untamed spirit of the frontier. To some, he was a villain, to others, a man of the times, as complicated and unforgiving as the deserts he roamed. His legacy, a patchwork of daring escapades, deadly encounters and poignant quotes, is a testament to the era of the American Wild West. If you're engrossed by the life and legend of Curly Bill Brocious, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You won't want to miss out on more stories that bring the history of the American frontier to life. Let's consider for a moment the context in which Brocious operated. 
The late 19th century was a time of enormous change in America. The Civil War had ended, and the nation was expanding westward. The frontier was a place where the law was often what you made it, and men like Curly Bill were both its product and producers. His life, his actions, and his quotes cannot be judged by the standards of our time, but rather should be seen through the lens of that transformative era. Moreover, Brocius's interactions with the likes of the Earp brothers, particularly Wyatt, highlight the complex interplay between outlaws and lawmen. The Wild West was a stage where sometimes the actors switched roles, where today's lawman could be tomorrow's outlaw, and vice versa. This fluid morality is key to understanding the life of Curly Bill and the quotes that resonate with such a legacy. As we delve into the latter part of his life, it's crucial to understand the significance of the setting in which he thrived. Tombstone, Arizona wasn't just another dot on the map. It was a microcosm of the Wild West, a place where miners, cowboys, outlaws and lawmen converged. It was a town teeming with wealth and vice, hope and despair, lawlessness and the desperate attempts to institute law and order. In Tombstone, Curly Bill found the perfect stage for his exploits, and it was here that his legend would be cemented. His involvement with the Clanton Gang, also known as the Cowboys, was more than mere association. It was an alignment with the quintessential anti-heroes of the age. The Cowboys were known for cattle rustling, robbery and conflict with the law, and Curly Bill, at times their leader, embodied the defiance and danger that characterized the group. Let's pause here for a moment to remind you, if this trek through history has captured your imagination, subscribing to our channel, Quote Almanac, will ensure you're always in the company of the past's most colorful characters. In the case of Curly Bill, like many figures of the Old West, facts are often interlaced with fiction. Historical accounts are contested, stories are embellished, and the man becomes part myth. But it is this very mixture of fact and legend that keeps the stories of people like Curly Bill Brocious alive in the collective consciousness. And it is why we continue to be drawn to these tales, seeking truth, understanding, or perhaps just entertainment. Brocious's life cannot be neatly categorized or easily explained. The fragments of his existence that have survived tell of a man who was as much a product of his time as he was a producer of it. He did not live in an era of binary moralities, but in one of survival, of making one's own law and of living by the gun, a choice that eventually led to his demise. In the final analysis, Curly Bill Brocius was a man of contradictions. He was feared and loathed, yet he also possessed a certain charisma and charm. As we near the end of our journey through the dusty trails of Curly Bill's life, we're reminded of the human capacity for complexity. He was a man feared by many, possibly admired by some, and undoubtedly a central figure in the narrative of the American West. His life story contributes an indelible chapter,